Hey, it's Brennan from AcentusOnline.com where I help you level up your game. In this video, I'm gonna give you a very, very smart target to hit when you are coming to the net. So let's watch this point between USC down here and Stanford on the far end. So let's take a look at this brilliant volley target that we see right on this shot. Again, it, it, it's such it's such an underrated target and one that you don't see people go for a lot, especially at the recreational level. At the higher level, people realize this is such a smart target, and that's why I want you to hit it more often. And that is that short, low volley at an angle. It doesn't have to be a super sharp angle, but just that short, low volley is an amazing one. Now, especially if you can combine it with a shot that pushes your opponent back. So just take a look at the shot before that. So the shot before that was a beautiful, it, it was a slice. So nice and deep. It wasn't It wasn't super off the court. It was actually right down the middle, but it was nice and deep, pushing his opponent back. And his opponent did a really good job getting that ball nice and low and very controlled. But if you push your opponent back and you hit a really short and low ball, super effective. You're going to win 80 or 90% of the points on that, maybe even more. Now, the key to this is keeping the ball low. So make sure that you really try to keep that ball low. Easy way to, to do that is to have your racket face perpendicular to the ball. You might be thinking, uh, coach, this is tennis, not math. Now, let me show you what I mean. I'm sure most of you know exactly what I mean, but I'll, I'll show you anyway, just because I want this to be really clear. So basically, when your opponent hits that ball nice and low to you, and by the way, th this only applies to the low balls. If your opponent hits that ball nice and low to you, and let's pretend this here is the net. So your opponent hits that ball nice and low to you. Oops, wrong tool. You want your racket to be perpendicular to the ball. So meaning you want to basically send the, the ball back the same height, the same direction as it's coming from. So that way, if your racket face would be too open, the ball would be going up. If it would be too closed, it would be, okay, now it's getting messy. You get the idea. So this is a really good tip to try and just send it back nice and low over the net because if you keep it low, your opponent's going to have a really tough time getting there on time. And also, even if they get their racket on it, it's going to be a much weaker shot that they give you in return and you're going to have a very easy time finishing on the next one. Um, so keep the ball nice and low. As a bonus tip here, um, a lot of times, especially players at the recreational level, they have a very tough time recognizing or reading that ball when it's low and short. And again, for you, if you're on the receiving end, when that ball's coming off, if that ball's crossing that really low, it's likely going to be really short. But a lot of players struggle with reading that ball. So if you hit that ball super short, a lot of players don't recognize that in time. And by the time they actually do recognize, that ball's almost uh, bouncing twice. So again, it's a super effective way to win points at the net by hitting that ball low short and away from your opponent. So basically out of the middle. Now you do that, you're going to win a lot more points at the net. You're going to be super successful when you volley and you're going to level up your game. Now, if you want to level up your game even further, make sure to smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next coaching video.